Hey everyone, this is part two of the Starship Enterprise Blender tutorial series. If you haven't watched part one yet, be sure to check it out first before watching this portion of the series. Again, if you haven't already, I invite you to join the crew of the Imagination by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so you can be notified when new content is delivered to the channel. Now, on with part two of the tutorial. All right, so let's create the secondary hull. This is, uh, this is actually pretty fun and a little challenging because we basically have to create a cylinder um, and then cut a section out of it, but we'll do that using uh, Booleans. It is not a big deal at all, guys, um, especially if you're new to Blender and everything. Um, when you're doing Booleans, you just have to make sure that your, uh, your vertices and everything are um, lining up perfectly. All right, so now we're going to make sure nothing is selected. Everything's deselected. Hit Shift A, go to Mesh, go to Cylinder. Oh my God, that's a giant cylinder. Uh, let's look down our x-axis and let's rotate this bad boy on the x-axis. Okay, I'm gonna scale it down. G, Z axis. Just kind of scale it down to where it's the right size. And we're gonna just go ahead and bring it up. Um, hit G, Y axis, hit the Y, go on the Y axis. So that we basically have it right about here, about the front of the, uh, the secondary hull. Look down our X axis. And let's see, yeah, let's go ahead and define the back part first. This is a little more difficult. Um, let's see, let's go ahead, go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode, hit three, go into faces mode, look down our X axis, hit G, Y axis. Okay, we're gonna stop there, gonna hit E to extrude, let it go ahead on down the Y axis. Stop right about here where this uh, this edge is. As to scale it a bit, so we got you know we've got kind of lined up here. We'll go ahead and do a loop cut right here. Control R, and just let it rest right there. As to scale, just to keep getting like the nice contour of the of the ship. Let's see. All right, hit three. Make sure we got this face selected. Look back down our x axis. Heat extrude straight down the Y axis. We're gonna S to scale it. Let's go ahead and turn on X-ray mode, Alt Z. S to scale it a bit more. And G, move up the Z axis. All right, so this is where it's gonna get tricky, but you guys can do this. I have faith in you. Um, we're gonna hit tab to go out of edit mode, Alt Z out of X-ray mode. So now we need to create another cylinder so we can cut out this, this little, we look down uh, X-ray mode again, cut out this little section here. Okay, so we're gonna hit Shift A. Well, actually again, make sure nothing's selected. We're gonna hit Shift A, Mesh, and Cylinder. Um, although this time, let's set our vertices on the cylinder to 32 vertices. And then what we're gonna do is look down our Y axis. We're gonna rotate this guy on the Y axis by hitting Y. Look down our x-axis. Actually, I'm sorry, we need to look down the other way. So we're looking at the uh, the left left side of the ship. S to scale. Just gonna bring this down really small. All right. You can do this, guys. I have faith in you. Don't worry. All right, so we're gonna hit Alt Z, go into X-ray mode, and we get tab to go into edit mode, one vertices mode. And we're actually going to make use of um, the snap uh, option or uh, function here. I'm gonna click this little uh, magnet here and we need to go to this drop down menu for snapping and we need to make it to snap to vertex. Okay. Okay, so with all these vertices selected, let's see. I'm gonna hit G. Okay, so we've kind of snapped here and we want to make sure, we want to try to get this to snap to, no. We're gonna try to get this to snap as close as possible. We're gonna to have to do a little bit of, because uh, um, the way the way the snap works sometimes it doesn't quite always want to work the way you want it to. But we're gonna we're gonna do as much as we're gonna do as best, as, but we're gonna do as best as we can. All right, so we're gonna S to scale Y axis. Then 
as to scale Z axis, bring this out a bit. The main thing is to make sure that this vertice is snapped to this edge right here as close as possible. Even, let's see, select just this and again, make sure in x-ray mode so that you're selecting both it and this vertice here that's stacked on top of in the view. So we're gonna hit G, Y axis, okay. It snapped to these edges right here, so we're good there. Um, we're gonna back go back to turning on our proportional editing. Select this edit, this vertice right here and make sure again that you select both of these. All right, G. Let's say let's, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see more of what I'm doing here. Okay, so G, we got our proportional editing on. And then, okay, it looks like we're snapped as close as we can to this edge here. Do the same thing here, except we're gonna fan out our proportional lighting a bit more. And you guys don't have to, you guys don't have to hit this curve exact. Just do as close as you can. I'll select these two, G, Y axis. I gotta bring in our circle a bit more, tighten it up a bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right. So, okay, so what we need to do is we need to make sure we're in object mode, S to scale, X axis, um, just for for right now. Actually, yeah, we're, we're out of, uh, if you didn't see already, I've um, turned off proportional editing. So now what we need to do is we need to do a Boolean. So I'm gonna select the primary or the secondary hull and we're gonna go to add modifier, make sure you're on the modifiers tab. And we're gonna do Boolean and then we're gonna click this little eyedropper and we're gonna select this cylinder right here. As you can see, it's already kind of made the cut here. Now what we're gonna do is click this down arrow, apply, and select this cylinder here, delete it. And we have a nice little cutout here. What we need to do now is we need to do some repair work because we wanna make sure that our vertices and everything are lining up really nicely. So, Actually, I'll tell you what, what we're gonna do real quick so we don't have to do a bunch of extra steps. Um, let's see, let's Alt-Z, get out of uh, X-ray mode. Let's go make sure we're in vertices mode, press one. Select this top vertice right here and this one right here. Let's make sure they're the middlemost ones, Alt-Z. Yes, they're sitting right on the Z axis. Or I'm sorry, are they're yeah, they're sitting right, 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 they're running right down the Z axis at least. Um, and they're both um, the same on the X axis. So, all right, so Alt Z out of uh, X-ray mode. We're gonna hit J, that'll connect all these. And then we wanna do the same on the front of this ship. So I'm gonna select this top one and this, I think that's it right there. Yes. Okay, Z-axis, flush. Uh-oh, we have a little bit of a problem here. Well, I'll show you guys how we can fix this. So, let's, uh, actually for right now, let's make sure we cut this in half, look down our Y-axis, and Alt-Z, go into X-ray mode. Um, before we do anything else, let's turn off proportional editing and let's turn off snap, S to scale, X, zero. All right, so now all these vertices are um, uh, lined up perfectly. And just for humor on our transform, let's go to X and we're gonna change it to zero. So now we know that all these vertices are running down the, uh, running perfectly down the Z axis and are scaled on the X axis. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is select all these in faces mode and delete faces all right now let's go to our modifiers mirror turn on clipping seems like a lot of trouble but it's just uh, you know make sure we're keeping with having very clean geometry here guys it um it makes uh whenever you start getting into some really you know high level uh, texturing or anything it just makes the mesh easier to work with all right, so as you can see, you know, 
we're supposed to keep everything in quads as much as possible. Quads are triangles um, as far as our uh, polygons go and everything. So what we're going to do first is uh, before we go adding anything is we're going to turn snap back on. Hit control R, click, and then just let this snap here. Doesn't look like it's quite snapping correctly. So I'm going to hit S to scale, Y axis, zero. Now let's try it. Yep, lines up perfectly. So as you can see, we have this here and this here. We're going to collect these, select these two vertices, hit J to connect them. And then, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this vertice here and this one here. We're going to hit M and we're going to merge at last. Now, now just to make sure that uh, we're keeping everything lined up. I'm going to select this vertice here. We're still got snap on. Going to hit G, Y axis, and then G, Z axis. So that's nice and lined up there. It's going to be a little tedious, guys. But then again, that's 3D modeling in a nutshell. A lot of times is that it's just very tedious. All right. I'll select this one. Same thing here. G, Y axis. G, Z axis. Do this one as well. G, Y axis. G, Z axis. Same thing here, G, Y axis, G, Z axis, G, Y axis, G, Z axis. I realize I can probably just do these all at the same time. I'm just kind of doing this just to make sure that everything is uh, lining up correctly. Um, also, if you notice, one of the things we have to make sure of is um, we need to make sure we're snapping these on the X axis. That's why we do them separately. So G, X axis. And let's see, make sure we're selecting G, X axis, select this one, G, Z axis, G, X axis, G, Y axis. Same thing, same thing with this one, G, Z axis, G, Y axis. Select this, G, Z axis, G, Y axis, G, X axis. You know, actually I could just, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting a little little uh, redundant here. Um, I'll tell you why, and you, some of you probably figured it out. Let's see, G, Z axis, G, Y axis. Keep forgetting, I can just select this and this, M, merge, last, duh. Okay, so you can see we have a little problem here. We're just gonna um, control R, that'll split this line right here. Select these two, J, and same thing here. Select these two, join them together together can't talk um one thing we need to do real quick hit a to select everything and hit m merge by distance um, a couple of these vertices that we created um were merged together um, we didn't quite merge them correctly um that's my own fault so okay so looking pretty good so far uh, we just need to kind of create some more edges down here so what i'm going to do is uh, i'll tell you actually what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit three go into faces mode select this face right here delete face hit one select this vertice here g z axis g y axis make sure it's lining up to this edge this vertice right here now we're gonna hit two to go into edges mode select this edge we're going to select as you can see here um, we're going to select all these except for this edge right here. There's like a little tiny space here, um, but that's one small polygon right there. Now we're gonna hit E to extrude X axis and just pull these to where they all kind of line up there. Then we're gonna uh, hit one to go into vertices mode. So like this, Z axis, Y axis, and then we're gonna hit A to select all of them. Hit M for merge by distance and Hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that, but um, we have a nice little cut here and everything seems to be lined up pretty good. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any um, polygons with uh, five, you know, five vertices to them or anything like that. So now the back, the shuttle bay, um, this is also a little, a little tricky here. So we're going to hit three to go into faces mode, select this face here and hit E to extrude as to scale. I just realized I still have on uh, snap. We don't need that really right now. Okay, we're just gonna kind of move this around on the on the Z axis and then on the X axis, pressing G and then Z and X. 
Okay, so what we need to do is we have to have a little ledge right here and then we have to kind of recess this in a bit. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna create the little, the little landing ledge here. What we're gonna do right now is I'm actually just gonna hit three, delete this face right here. And then I'm gonna hit two to select edges or for, for edges. Select this edge right here, eat extrude X axis, just bring that out. Hit one, select all of our vertices by pressing A, hit M to merge by distance. Okay. And while we're at it, I'm gonna select these two vertices. You'll see why here in a minute. Turn snap back on, hit G, Z axis. Just select these two right here. We got a really small polygon here, trying to avoid that. Hit G, Z axis. All right, so now, kind of got our shuttle bay going here. Um, I'm sorry, we're gonna select all of our edges, uh, hold Alt, click this edge, select we all these. And then we're going to hit F, that fills that in. And this is gonna recess inward by hitting E to extrude. And then we're going to select these, actually we have three, select these faces here. E to extrude, just bring this out a bit. And just to kind of clean this up a little bit, um, we're gonna go into this uh, little area that we cut out. Um, before I do anything, I'm going to hit three. Make sure I go into faces mode. We're gonna delete this face right here. Then I'm going to hit control R on this little cut we, or this area we made right here. Bring that a little bit. Okay. Hit one to go to vertices mode. Select this vertice here. Turn snap back on. Hit G and we're going to snap it to this top one on the X axis. And now let's see. I'm actually going to delete, turn on faces, delete this face right here. Press one, turn on this, or um, let's see, select these two vertices and vertices mode. And then we're going to hit G, Z axis. Make sure these are all lined up. Hit two edges mode, select these two edges. Actually, I think we can select all these and just hit F to fill this in. Press one, go into edge, or vertices mode, select these two vertices, J to split them. Getting close, guys. Um, looking pretty good. Okay, so we got this little ledge here. Hit three, go to faces mode. Gonna we'll look down our Z axis. Let's see. Eat extrude, bring this out. Hit G, bring it in. Let's go and make sure we're in X-ray mode so we've got everything lined up. And actually, while we're at it, I'm gonna hit one, go to vertices mode. Bring this in just a little bit on the x-axis. Okay, three, go back to faces mode. Make sure we got those faces selected. Yes, we do. Look down the z-axis, eat extrude, bring it in. So as you can see, I'm just kind of, I kind of bring this out so I'm following my guides a bit more. Okay. Face is selected, eat extrude, bring them in. I think we're gonna just leave it at that. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we need to create, there's a little door back here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to bring in a sphere. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna bring in a sphere. So we're gonna hit shift A, mesh, and we're gonna do UV sphere. And we wanna set the segments to, what do we wanna set the segments to? Actually, I think we're gonna leave it at 32 segments and 16 rings. So, okay, so that's good. Okay, so we're gonna scale it down. Oops, we need to turn off our snap. So we're gonna bring it down, look down our Z axis, hit G, Y axis, bring it up here, scale it a bit. Look down our y-axis, look down the other y-axis. Well, actually, I think we can't really because that plane's gonna be in the way. Hit G, brings up a bit. And what we're gonna do, actually we're gonna look down our x-axis, hit tab, 
Alt Z. Select all those faces there and all these faces here. So we just have this one quad here. Alt Z. Then we're gonna look down our axis and I'm gonna go to our planes and I'm just gonna turn off the front view so I can see what I'm doing here. Hit G, Z axis. Bring this in on the y-axis. Scale it a bit on the x. That's the scale y-axis. Okay, so we kind of tuck this in here a bit. All right, and same thing that we did with the uh, the hull. We're gonna look down the y-axis. Hit three. Go into faces mode. Alt Z. X-ray mode. Delete these faces here and give it or uh, give it a mirror modifier turn on clipping and just for humor we're going to delete these faces these little triangles right here they're not really needed and because what we're going to do is we're going to hit two go in edges mode and select these edges skip one select 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 and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit control b Wind those just a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit E to extrude. And we're just going to bring these in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, we kind of have, you know, I, I think this kind of swung open or something on the back of the ship. Or I'm not sure exactly how it opened, but... Um, you know, if you watch the show, I mean, this is the shuttle bay door. It's uh, not functional in the way we're creating it right now. I mean, you guys can feel free to do that on your own time. Um, let's see. We've got kind of a weird thing going on here at the bottom. So look down our Y axis. We're going to go into edit mode by hitting tab. One vertices mode. I select all these. Hit. Actually, actually, we're not in X-ray mode. Now we're in X-ray mode. Make sure we got all these selected. That's the scale. Z. Zero. Okay, and we're just going to kind of scale this a bit, bring it down. And then where we delete these edges, we're going to hit 2 to go into edges mode. Select these edges here. Heat extrude Z-axis. Got a little overlap there, so I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. And we've got our door. Um, now, so what we're going to do right now, just real quick, we're going to do some temporary... Uh, um, shaders um, just to help kind of get our bearings straight a bit more. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hull. I'm going to go to our shaders, or I'm sorry, material properties. And we're going to do add new. We're going to add hull tan. And I'm just going to give it just kind of a slight muted color. Let's go ahead and go to our material preview. You can see that's changed color a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to this these sections of the uh, the saucer. All 10. And then for the door, we're going to create another texture. We're just going to call this uh, dark gray. there that way we can see more of what we're doing otherwise everything starts to blend together i mean even if you feel feel so compelled we can uh go up to our impulse engines actually i'm gonna move in here a little closer hit three go to faces mode select these faces add uh, another uh, material and let's see we're gonna make this impulse engines and we're actually going to change this to an emission change the color to red assign let's go ahead and set the strength to two i mean if we go into uh if we go into our um, rendered properties as you can see um and there's there's no lights in the scene right now we'll fix that later but as you can see you know the emission um 
kind of kind of creates its own line in a way. So let's go ahead and go back to our material preview and let's keep going. All right, so now we do this front part of the ship. We're going to select our hull and uh, for this purpose, we're actually going to go back to our modifiers and we're going to apply our mirror. And so now we can hit three, select these two faces and we're going to dissolve faces. And now it's going to be, this is going to be a little tricky, but you know, if you were able to, you know, if you did the uh, Boolean thing, you're going to be just fine here. Um, so what we're going to do is look down our X axis and we're actually going to, well, actually we're going to, just, we're going to just kind of do this kind of in the freeform mode right here. We're going to eat extrude as to scale and set this just a little bit. Eat extrude, bring it out on the Z axis. I'm sorry, the Y axis. Eat extrude as to scale again. And then We'll look down the x-axis, gonna eat extrude, bring this all the way up to here, as to scale it down just a little bit, kind of a cone shape. And then same thing again, eat extrude as to scale, bring it in, eat extrude, bring it out on the y-axis, eat extrude as to scale, and then eat extrude, just kind of bring it in a bit. Now we're gonna hit Control R, divide this in half. And then, let's see, gonna look down our X axis, Alt Z. Oh, I forgot, we need to get back into our uh, solid viewport shading so I can see what we're doing. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make sure, hit three, go into faces mode. Um, and actually now that we've done a lot of the geometry, we actually need to, um, uh, we need to actually divide this again and everything so you can mirror our details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit one to go to vertices mode, select this vertice here and this one here. Make sure I can't see. I'm going to look down the other y axis. Okay. So yes, these are both on the on the lining up along the z axis. So I'm going to hit J, split in half. And look down our Y axis, hit three faces, Alt Z to go into X-ray mode. Delete all these. And then add a mirror modifier again, clipping as usual. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to look at our look down our X axis, hit three, and then we need to select, as you can see, we have this kind of rectangular shape right here. We need to, in faces mode, and as you can see, you can see these little little dots or whatever that are indicating these faces running along this line here. So we're going to select these faces. Let's say, actually, no, we need, we need to deselect this one. Should have six faces here. Um, I, another way to think of it is that if you hit two to go into edges mode, select this right here. Um, this should be the middle edge of this side of the, uh, the cylinder. So if we go back, rotate it, hit three, go into faces mode. Um, let's just select these faces here. And yes, looks like we've got this right here. So, okay. So just, uh, remember that kind of as a note. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we're going to delete, we're going to select all these. And these faces here, and these faces here, we're going to delete those. And we're going to do the same thing underneath, except we're doing a mirror. So all we need to do is select these three faces, these faces here, and these faces. Hit delete. Okay, so now that we have these, uh, these um, polygons cut out, what we're going to do is we're going to select this edge, hold control and shift, select here. So we just have this curve right here and we're going to do the same thing. Make sure you hold shift and control and hit and uh, select those. Make sure you saw these selected as well. And we're going to, with the uh, magnet tool on, we're going to hit eat extrude Y axis snap to this point here. Make sure the same thing happened down here. Yes, it did. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit two. make sure we're in edges mode, select this edge here and this edge here, hit F to fill. Same thing here, F, select here, F. 
now what we're going to do is we're going to um, select these edges here. And same thing here. And we're going to do kind of the same thing again. Get extrude Y axis. Hit one, go to Percy's mode, select these two, merge, last. Select this and this one. Make sure you select this one first and this one second. Merge, last, because that makes it snap to this point. And we're going to do the same thing here. Select, select, merge, last. You hit M to merge, by the way. All right. So now what we need to do is hit two and uh, to go in edges mode. And we're going to hold Alt and Shift, click this, select that full thing, hit F to merge, or I'm sorry, to fill that. Same thing here, um, hold Alt to select uh, this entire ring right here. Well, actually, it's kind of a half ring. Hit F to fill it. And then we're going to hit, let's see, we're going to select, hit one to go into vertices mode, select this, uh, this one right here, this one here, and hit J. Uh, it's no problem that that's not following this curve. It's not going to be necessary later. Um, select these two. We're just going to make sure and join all these together. Hitting J or selecting two and then hitting J where we don't want to merge them. Okay. And I select these, hit J, select these, hit J. And don't worry, we'll take care of this later. Um, Actually, yeah, we're actually we're good to uh, go ahead and solidify this. So we're just going to go ahead in our mirror modifier, hit apply, and then um, still in vertices mode. Select this and select this. Make sure no other vertices are selected. Hit J and just cut right across there, so we have nice little squares going. All right, hit three. Go to faces mode. Select these two faces again. Dissolve. And then what we're going to do is we're going to eat extrude as to scale, bring this in real tight, turn off snapping because we don't need it. It's going to bring this out a little bit more as scaling it. Then we're going to hit control R. We're going to do three cuts, scale them out just a little bit. Hit control B to bevel these. And then eat extrude, bring them out. Actually, let's make sure we turn on snapping and hit G, Y axis. And I forgot we need to do the same thing with this face right here. Heat extrude, Y-axis, turn off magnet. Heat extrude as to scale. And then we get to create the sensor. Sensor array, I guess is what it is. Heat extrude, Y-axis. Now this is slightly tricky, but uh, not too bad right here. Uh, what we need to do, let's see, keep looking down our X-axis. Heat extrude as to scale, just kind of bring it up towards about the size of the dish. And then G, Y axis. Doesn't look very dishy at the moment. Looks more like a walk. Okay, delete that face there. And actually for, for right now, we're gonna do is we're going to, still in faces mode, we're going to Alt select and select this, just this whole little shape right here again. I said, you know, kind of looks like a walk. Uh, so we got this all selected here and we're actually going to separate it. We're going to hit P, separate the selection. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look back down our x-axis and we need to kind of round this thing out a bit more. So we're going to hit control R, bring this down a bit, S to scale it, hit control B to bevel it. Our vertices mode. Let's see, make sure we've got our, our vertices selected. Hit G, Y axis, S to scale. Select all these, S to scale. Going out into the cut here, Control R. Just leave it dead center there, S to scale. G, Y axis. Okay, looking pretty good. Remember, guys, I mean, you can pause this at any time and just, you know, um, you know, create as much detail as you want and everything. You know, you, remember, you, you have the power to pause and, you know, take a break from listening to my voice, which I'm sure you'll be glad to do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, just feel free anytime you know, to pause it and just add whatever details you want. Remember, make it make it your own. I mean, if you want to make it look more like the uh, 
the Strange New Worlds version, or if you want to make this look more like the original series version of the Enterprise, I mean, more power to you guys. Do do whatever you want. This is this is your world. This is your ship. Um, all right, so let's see. Go back to get out of uh, X-ray mode, and I'm going to eat extrude as to scale it. So we've got kind of a solid solid object going here. Um, if you zoom in here, we want to get rid of this inner track here. So make sure deselect everything and hold alt, click this edge here to delete or to select them and then delete the faces because we're going to reconnect this to the ship. So we're going to select this, select the ship and we're going to right click and join and we're going to tab to go in edit mode, press one to go into vertices mode, just hit a to select everything, merge distance. So we connected all these together. And then what we're going to do is hit two to go into edges mode, deselect, and then we're going to hold alt, click or select this circle right here. And then we're going to eat extrude on the Y axis. See, so, yeah, we got the magnet off. Eat extrude as the scale, so G, Y axis. And then we're just going to create the antenna. Eat extrude, Y axis, as the scale. Heat extrude, Y axis, as the scale. Heat extrude, Y axis. Heat extrude, Y axis, as the scale. And then F to fill it. All right, and we have, we have the secondary hull. I believe that's all the details for that. Now it's on to the nacelles, guys. We are almost done here. Um, I almost feel like, I feel like the nacelles are probably the, the most fun part and everything because there's a lot of great details to them. Um, let's see, make sure we don't have anything selected. I'm gonna hit shift A, mesh, and we're actually gonna start with a UV sphere. And we're gonna change the segments to 64 and the rings to 32. Um, let's see, and we're gonna scale it down a bunch because we don't, don't, don't need it that big. Look down our x-axis, just gonna drag it up here, rotate on the x-axis, make sure you're holding control to snap it into place. Make sure, actually a tab, go to edit mode. Yeah, make sure this is this line right here is going up and down the, the z-axis and same thing with this with the y-axis. Um, so, okay, so as to scale it in object mode, and we're just gonna kind of drag it here as to scale. Scale it up a bit. Okay, the tab. Go into faces mode by hitting three, and we're gonna select all these faces here, delete them. And before we do anything else, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to add a mirror modifier. So you don't have to create the nacelle twice. It's gonna look down our y-axis and oh yeah, we need to turn our front view back on because we need it for reference. Hit tab to go in edit mode, hit three, go in faces, make sure you're in faces mode. Hit A to select all these faces, hit G, x-axis. As you can see, you have the start for both nacelles. Look down the y-axis, we're gonna hit G, z-axis, just bring this down a little bit. And then, let's see, Get two to go into edges mode, deselect everything, just kind of clicking, left clicking. And we're gonna alt, left click, select this edge here. Look down our X axis, we're gonna eat extrude as to scale. And then we're just going to eat extrude Y axis all the way down. I think, yeah, we're just gonna go all the way down to here. And then S to scale it. So as you can see, it has, you know, kind of kind of has a cone shape to it a bit. And then we're going to F, hit F to fill it. So, okay, we have the beginnings of our nacelles here. Now to start kind of adding some details in, um, let's look down our X-axis, Alt-Tab, I'm sorry, Alt-Z to go into uh, X-ray mode. We're gonna hit Control-R, bring this up here, Control-R. And then we're going to hit control R again here and we're going to roll the mouse once just to make two cuts. Okay. Look at this kind of 3D mode here. We're going to hit control B, double these. 
And then we're going to select these two edges, hit control B, make them about the same width. And then we're actually going to split these, control R. And then also we're going to do the same thing with these as well. So now um, let's select these inner edges here. Remember you can hold Alt and Shift while left clicking. And okay, so we got, let's see, we got global, we've got, uh, make sure you're on ind individual origins. As to scale, bring these in a bit. Okay, looking good. Now the back of the nacelles, got some interesting details back here. Um, we're gonna do, let's see, go back into edit mode by hitting tab, control R, bring this down here. Same thing here, control R and control R, roll the mouse, do two cuts. Okay, S to scale, bring it in a bit. We need to switch our thing to uh, median point or port, yeah, median point. S to scale, Y axis. So these really need to be flush. All right, and uh, you probably noticed that this needs to be at an angle, and I mean, instead of selecting these vertices and trying to drag them and everything, which is going to look terrible, uh, we're going to, you guessed it, we are going to do another Boolean. So make sure we have everything deselected. Um, actually, I don't want to do the Boolean yet. We're going to choose Shift A, add a mesh. We're going to do a cube, Giganto cube. Bring it back here and just bring it up G, Y axis, rotate on the X axis. And just try to line up as close as you can. We're actually rotating it on the x-axis. And let's see, let's turn off X-ray mode, Alt-C. Hit G, x-axis. Okay, select the nacelles. And Boolean, make sure you're on the Boolean, not the mirror. Select the cube. Make sure it's on difference and apply. And as you can see, it applied it to both this side as well as the mirror image of it, which is very convenient. Okay. Um, let's see, select these, or we're back in, uh, I'm sorry, select the nacelles, uh, tab to go in edit mode. Let's look back down our X axis, um, Alt Z. And let's see, we need to add some edges here. We're gonna add an edge there. Edge here. I'm going to go into faces mode. Um, see this edge right here where it's dark on the uh, the reference plane. We're going to select these two faces here, and then we're just going to kind of select right here. Let's see. We only need. Let's see. Alt Z. We only need these inner two, these bottom two faces here. Only need these two faces here and here. Now we need to go to individual origins and we need to go to normals. We do eat extrude. As you can see, that kind of creates kind of like kind of like fins, almost like on a rocket or something. We're gonna do another extrusion outward. Then we're going to S to scale on the y-axis. Looking pretty good, guys. Okay, now what we need to do is look down our x-axis and what we need to do is we're going to, let's see, see how we're looking so far. Oh yes, we need to create the pylons that connect the nacelles to the, the secondary hull. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Let's see, let's look down our y-axis. Okay, so looking, we're uh, looking down uh, the, the front of the uh, ship, down the y-axis. Gonna turn on Alt-Z, turn on X-ray mode. We just basically need to kind of get, you know, um, use this as a reference point. We're just gonna select these holding shift. Uh, we select more faces than what we need, but don't worry. What we're gonna do is, um, actually it doesn't look like we quite got them, but what we need is uh, these are the faces that we selected in reference to 
the uh, the front reference plane of the ship. But what we need is we actually need these right here on this little track we created. So if you look down the X axis, Alt Z, as you can see, these are lined up perfectly with the pylon here that connects to the um, uh, to the secondary hull of the ship. So what we're going to do is look down our Y axis and with normals still selected, heat extrude, bring it down. That should be pretty close. Don't worry, we can adjust it. Um, we're just going to hit G and we're just going to kind of freely align these to where they connect. And we have an Enterprise, guys. Oh, we need to move these a bit further down. So these are still selected. These faces are still selected. We're going to hit G, Z axis. And now we're connected to the secondary hull. And we have an Enterprise. But we have just a few more details we need to add. And then we have pretty much the, the main structure done. So, okay. So with our pylon selected, let's look back down our X axis. Hit Tab. Go into edit mode, um, Alt Z. And what we're going to do is, um, what we're going to do is kind of as a reference point is we're going to go where this edge is right here. We're actually going to skip down one below it. And we're going to select, let's see, I think there's about, oops. Looks like about, let's say, one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, we don't need that many faces, so we're going to actually deselect this one. And we're going to use this kind of as a reference point. Go back into edit mode. And we're going to select outward. Make sure we don't need these right here. Okay, and actually all we need is we just need these ones on the inside. You know, actually we're gonna deselect these right here. You'll see why here in a minute. Either way, you should basically have, um, the, the, face, the faces you've selected should be, there should be another face right here that's deselected and then one right here next to the pylon. So we should have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Face is selected going downward and three across here. And we're actually going to deselect these faces because we just need the ones on the inside. Okay, we're at tab. Um, actually, tab and uh, we'll actually make sure we're still in edit mode. Uh, Alt Z to go out of x ray mode. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to eat extrude and bring this in just right on the, uh, it's actually on the x-axis, but it's showing it as the z-axis right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit P and we're going to separate the selection, uh, tab out of edit mode, and then make sure you just have this new section that we just split away from it. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to hit two to go to edges mode. We're going to select these edges and these edges. We're going to hit dissolve edges Hit one, make sure there's no vertices left over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit control R. Actually, before we do that, let's hit two to go to edges mode. We're going to hit control R and we're going to add, I'd say, let's do, let's do nine cuts. Now we're going to hit control B to bevel these. And then with these still selected, we're going to hit E to extrude, bring them out. And we kind of have our warp drive engines. So, okay, so let's do some quick texturing. Let's, uh, on the nacelles, let's uh, add this lovely hull tan color. Um, let's see, it's already applied to the hull. So then we need to look down our X axis. Hit tab, three, go to faces mode, Alt, uh, Alt Z. Select these faces here. 
add shader or add a material and just we're just going to go these, give these the same color as the impulse engines right now this is just kind of for reference purposes look down our x-axis alt z i'm sorry we need to go back to edit mode um which is tab alt z and let's select make sure just these kind of these bands are selected and we're going to add another texture we're going to do the dark gray assign and let's see on these on the warp drive okay good those are still selected actually let's go ahead let's select these wider sets of faces first And just for humor right now, we're just going to go ahead and select the dark gray. Then we're going to add another shader. And we're going to add a new one. And we're going to put warp drive, assign. And then we're going to change it to an emission shader. I'm going to pick a nice bluish color. It's okay, there's your warp drives. Actually, on the pylons, on these little fins, we're going to add, we're going to change these, the color of these. And by the way, guys, this is not what I mean by texturing. This is just preliminary. We will add some nice fancy textures here in a few seconds. This is just to kind of see where we are, see how everything's looking. We've got a few more details to add. Make sure you got the dark gray selected. We're going to sign. Let's say, and um, as I said, let's select these faces here on the sides of these little fins. And then we're going to do it. Let's say, make sure we've got individual origins and we're going to do I to inset. Just a little bit and then eat extrude and we're going to recess them a little bit. And then we're going to add another and we're going to do the warp drive, assign, and um, let's see, we've got a few more details here. Hit three, go to faces mode, Alt Z, select these, select our dark gray, assign, and let's see, turn off x-ray mode, Alt Z. Um, click off, hold or hold Alt, click here, select these faces, hit I to inset. Now what we want to do is hit I again, so it in insets individual, it, it does an inset of individual faces. So we got these selected, and then we're going to do an Eat Extrude, all on their own individual Z axes. So that kind of gives it, kind of looks like a F16 engine or something. I mean, just the individual little panels and everything. And lastly, let's see, we're going to do an Eat Extrude as to scale. And then we're just going to do kind of a rough spherical shape here. Eat Extrude, Eat Extrude again as to scale. G, move it on the Z axis by hitting Z. Remember, we're in normal mode. So if you hit Z, it's going to basically move the face in a perpendicular fashion to the way it's facing. Or it's going to basically move the face straight out. Um, it extrude as to scale, G, Z axis. It extrude as to scale, G, Z axis. And then again, we're going to add, we're going to select this. We're going to right click, shade smooth. Don't forget to go over here to your object data properties. And on your normals, auto smooth. Let's see, I want to. Fix this up a little bit. Select that line by going to um, hit two to go to edges mode and control B. There, well, nice and smooth there. And we're actually gonna select all these faces for this little spherical shape we just created. And we are going to go to our materials, add the warp drive to that as well. Then do control R, do a loop cut around here. Just leave it snap right into place there. Hit control B. And then eat extrude, bring it in, assign. And so we have our warp drive engines. 
think that about does it. Let's see, we need to add some emissions to the to the dish as well. So I'm gonna select the dish. Tab to go into edit mode. Three to go to faces mode. Select these faces. Oops, not that, not that, not like that. Select these faces. Go to the underside as well. Add another shader to it. Um, add new, we're gonna go to emission. And we're just gonna leave this as a white. We're gonna sign it. Set this to three. Oh yes, can't forget about the uh, secondary hull. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit tab, edit mode, three, go to faces mode. Select all these. Add another shader. Do the dark gray. And then, whoops, missed a, missed a track in there. Let's see, get those. Assign. Okay, now we're going to select our sensor array here. Radar dish, whatever you want to call it. I think it's called the sensor array. Okay, we're going to add. And we're going to, let's see, I'm going to just do gold, sign, base color. We're going to go kind of an orangish color and bring our metallic up. And we're looking pretty good. We've got the Enterprise. Looks like I think I've got all the details in here so far. Um, just for humor, we're going to add some lights. Real quick, so let's see. I'm gonna do Shift A. Actually, I think what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna do a sun. Hit G, bring it up on the Z axis. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the the rotation of the sun um, is all that matters. I mean, wherever you place it doesn't make any difference. Um, like if we go into our rendered mode. Um, as you can see right now, the sun is pointing directly downward. So we're going to rotate it on the y-axis, kind of in the direction of the Enterprise, and then we're going to rotate it on the z-axis. Well, I need to turn off normals. Rotate z-axis. I rotate it around a bit. And as you can see, our shadows look terrible right now, but we're going to fix that. Let's see, first thing we do is select the sun and go to shadow and do contact shadows and then go right here to our scene properties or render properties here um i always run everything in ev so um yeah make sure you're running an ev right now that'll you know work a little faster for you ambient occlusion we're gonna turn that on we're gonna turn on bloom um let's see leave all this as it is depth of field we're gonna turn on high qual or high quality Jitter camera, subsurface scattering, leave that as is. Screen space reflections, turn on refraction, motion blur, in case we do animation. Actually, we will be doing some, anim some animation later on. Um, volumetric set to two. Uh, performance, high quality normals, curves, leave that, leave as is. Cube size, 4096, 4096 on cascade. Uh, and that's actually in high bit depth. So as you can see, our shadows looking a little bit better. Um, uh, hopefully nobody's uh, computer's taken off or, uh, you know, gone into space itself with all the fans blowing and everything. Um, I forgot, we need to select our secondary hull. We need to set it to shade smooth. And then we need to go to our data properties. Okay, it's already on auto smooth. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've got a nicely lit ship here and everything. We need to... Uh, Let's see, oh yeah, yeah, set our door correctly. Oh, smooth. And I need to define, looks like I need to find some edges here. So let's see, select this edge right here. Oops. Oops, not those, just these two. And 
mark those as sharp. And then same thing here. Again, guys, remember 3D modeling is tedious, but all that tediousness you, um, usually wields uh, or yields good results. But you know, you just you know, the best way to learn is from experience on how to streamline things better and just how to better you know you know spend your time and everything. Because remember, time is money, and if you can get things done quicker for your clients, they're going to be happier with you because you're going to cost them less money. as well as I found in my time in the industry, just multiple industries and everything is that the, um, probably the most important, uh, asset or yeah, the most important asset, the most important currency is actually not currency, despite what they said. And I think it was in uh, the, the second parts of the Caribbean movie, the most important currency is time because you can't get it back. All these I just selected. So always remember whenever you're trying to decide, you know, how to charge someone for a project or anything, remember it's your time. And if you're doing, you know, if you're doing 3D work as like a, you know, a secondary income, you're giving up your, you're giving your up your, you know, your free time outside of your regular job. You're giving up time with family, with friends. And remember that is important because it's important for you to be able to have that time um, for yourself. Okay. I think we're looking pretty good here. So yeah, the next step, actually I'm going to, let's see, I think, yeah, I don't need to do that there. This is supposed to be more angular looking. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think everything's looking good. So, um, next step is to start adding some textures. So we're going to do right now and uh, please forgive me. I need to save this. So I'm going to hit control S and let's say I'm going to just save this into my um, tutorial folder here. I'm going to save it as enterprise. And there you go. Another rule of thumb is save early and save often, which I tend to forget, but I think this is about the sixth or seventh time I've built this enterprise. I'm um, just kind of practicing and you know, kind of getting ready to make sure I know what I'm doing whenever I show you guys how to do this so I'm not spending like an hour doing it. This concludes part two of constructing the secondary hull and nacelles. Now it's on to part three where we can start adding basic textures and bring the ship to life. I'll see you guys in part three.